Salutations to the knower of Om. Journeying a sadhaka through the resounding syllables of Om to finally rest upon the soundless silence that forms the all-pervading substratum. This Om has the three matra, more, simba, syllable, three sounds in it. These matras, these sounds, let us recognize in this the three father, the three quarters. The waking, the dream, the deep sleep, the three father. And the fourth is the Turiya. Let us recognize or let us see the three fathers in these three sounds. A Ukma, Akala A sound, Ukala U sound, Makala Ma sound. These are the three sounds together is the Om. On these syllables, sound symbols, because a symbol need not necessarily be an object. It can be a sound also. What is the significance? How do you say that? Roughly if you say, I can't believe it. Why do you say that? Ah, sound is all pervade. The vehicle is all pervade. Is wherever he looks, the experiences gathered in the waking state are all the experience of the vehicle. Ah, sound is also all pervade. In every language in the world, the first alphabet is A. Ah. A ah is all pervade. Not only it is a sound in all languages, it is a elementary sound. Manipulating this elementary sound, all other sounds are created. Ah is the first syllable of Om. Similarly, the first of the three states of experience is waking state. Thus both. Akara is all pervading and is the first alphabet. Similarly, waking state is all pervading and is the first of the three father. Waking and then comes the dream. U also comes A, then U. And again, the dream is sandwiched between the waking. And the deep sleep. You see the dream, not on the waking time, not in deep sleep. Then when do you? When you are left to the waking and do not yet reach the sleep, the corridor that connects the drawing room with the bedroom is called dream. In deep sleep, the same thing happens. Your waking and dream experiences goes and disappears. And from there, tomorrow early morning, it emerges out. Is it not? In deep sleep, all these names and forms that we have experienced in the week and the dreamer merges to become of one uniform. Advaita thing. Ignorance, no doubt. And tomorrow morning, out of that, comes out exactly what had been there before. What went in comes out. Thus, there is a similarity between um, and when you are chanting also, A and O merges and disappears into um, A um. But two syllables, Goes into the third syllable and becomes silent. Out of that silence again. Om, 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 Om. Om starts, merges, disappears, becomes silent, 
and from the silence the next stroke starts. But supposing you have been concentrating upon not the syllables but the silence between two successive ohms. Om. Om. Supposing you have been in the concentrating upon that soundless silence between the syllables, then there is no going, no path, no way. You just realize your true nature. Right here now, in the pranava, pranava oh. In the pranava, yunjida, tuna, your chedas, your thoughts, all your thoughts, tune it up to oh. The significance of oh. You tune up yourself. Forget everything else. All your mind, all your thoughts, turn on to the thinking of what the Om stands for. Pranavo Brahmanar Bhaya. This Pranava stands for that Brahman is the ultimate reality which is Nirbhaya beyond all traces of fear.